This is a demagnetizer, specifically a plate demagnetizer. However, it demagnetizes way more than just your fine china. Hold on, let me back up a minute. Some of you, rightly so, may be wondering what one of these things is for. Well, if you have something magnetic that you don't want to be magnetic, put it on the top and hit the button. It will demagnetize it. I know what some of you are thinking. Slow down there, Brainiac. Fair enough. Let's look at an example. I'm sure you're all familiar with one of these. You might even own one. It's a paint can opener. Though, be honest, you've tried using it for turning screws, haven't you? Imagine for a moment that this is a pile of paint can lids. I'm sure this is all too familiar. The lids stick to your opener and you've got paint all over the living room carpet. Well, say goodbye to that problem. Magic, you say? Certainly. And no, it's not just for pry bars and can openers. You know those inserts that you buy that keep sticking to your drywall screws? Handles them just fine. Got a Duresta Gen 2 ice pick that keeps pulling your keys out of your pocket? Not anymore you don't. Someone in your household not that great with credit cards? This thing, great with credit cards. As much as I hate to do this to you, let's cut to the chase. Granted, it did take them an inordinate amount of time, but machinists eventually caught on to the utility of having a plate demagnetizer. Happen to do a lot of grinding? Parts that spend any amount of time on a magnetic chuck become magnetic. Quite the inconvenience. Does this look familiar? Sure, you can try banging it on the grinder, shaking it, blowing on it, maybe even pull it through the armpit of your sweatshirt. Any way you slice it, fuzzies like that make drill sharpening difficult to do. And if you don't think the list goes on, you'd be kidding yourself. Not many people out there enjoy using bearded lathe tools. As any MacGyver fan worth their salt will tell you, banging two pieces of metal together usually develops some magnetism. In the machine shop, as you can imagine, that happens a lot. Having an easy way to deal with that is invaluable. Well, it's technically valuable, 100 bucks and up, depending which one you get. If we could be serial for just one moment, you don't just put your part on the demagnetizer and turn it on. You start on top of the plate and withdraw the tool slowly out of its magnetosphere. Think of it like pulling the magnetism out of the part. To hold on to what's left of my hearing, I like to use a paper towel or a shop rag or something. I've always meant to bond a piece of plastic or put something on the top to keep it from getting all scratched up and maybe not make as much noise. Ben of Applied Science here on YouTube writes, Horseshoe is my favorite color. Right on, Ben. Excellent point. Let's see what happens when worlds collide. Be honest now, what did you really expect when you clicked on this video? 